Today, uh, the complaint we have is on a 2005 350Z that the subwoofer is intermittent and sometimes tapping on the case and so on can uh, bring it back to working. So we're going to get the uh, subwoofer and get right to the amplifier here so we can show you how to get this taken care of. We're going to start at the uh, corner of the rear panel and work our way across. Uh, all the clips on this release with a little bit of pry pressure and gives us access right to the subwoofer. There are four 10 millimeter bolts that hold this subwoofer in place. We also call this a pancake speaker because it doesn't seem to have the depth that most uh, aftermarket subwoofers have. Amp is here. Mm -hmm. And we are removing this speaker to get access to the amplifier so that we can get this out of the car. This is the final screw here. Uh, actually, the amplifier sits right here, and there are two bolts that will hold this amplifier in place. And uh, we're going to loosen these screws. Remove the subwoofer and lay this down to the side. And uh, there's a connector that we release the trigger on the side of and wiggle that loose, and that will remove this speaker. And we're going to set that to the side and get to the amplifier. Reach inside the enclosure and slide it up, it releases right out of the mounting. We're going to pull that off to the side, and this one also has a connector with a little trigger on the side of it. We're going to push the trigger down because sometimes the fingernail is not strong enough to push that trigger in and release the connector. And this is how you remove the uh, subwoofer amplifier from a 350Z. Uh, we see this quite often in shop. Take care for intermittent problems and no audio. Uh, please see our website before sending it for repair, the shipping page. Thank you for watching.